Well, good morning, everyone. We've reached the end of yet another work week. It's Friday. It's February the 19th. And we're using our morning check-ins right now to look at the topic of the Bible. We've already seen the Bible's unique. We've seen the Bible's inspired. We've seen that the Bible is profitable. Now, today we see that the Bible is sufficient. Now, in 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse number 16 and 17, look what it says. All scripture is inspired by God. It's the word of God. It's profitable for teaching. It shows us what's right. For reproof. It shows us what's not right. For correction. It shows us how to get right. And for training in righteousness. It shows us how to stay right. Now look at this. The Bible's given to us, verse 17, so that the man or woman of God may be adequate. And that word means complete. So that we may be complete. That means lacking nothing. Lacking what? Lacking nothing. If you're complete, you're lacking nothing. And when we are complete, when we are lacking nothing, we become equipped for every good work. For how many good works? Every good work. So the Bible was written so that you and I may be complete. So that you and I may be fully adequate. So that you and I may be able to do every good work. Folks, listen. All you need is the Bible. The Bible contains everything God wants you to know to do everything God wants you to do. You don't need some mystical experience. You don't need to hear an audible voice. You don't need to have a vision or a dream. The Bible contains everything God wants you to know. And folks, listen, if God is giving new revelation through another means, then the Bible isn't enough. The Bible is unique. The Bible is inspired, the Bible is profitable, and the Bible is sufficient. Well, I hope you're going to join us this coming Sunday morning as we start a brand new series here at E-Free Church. I'm calling it Confessions of a Pastor, The Danger of Distraction. And in this series, we're going to see how Paul gives final words to a young preacher named Timothy, Basically telling him, stay focused. Don't be distracted. And when I share with you the distractions that come into a pastor's life, I think you're going to find they're the same distractions that come into your life. So I hope you'll join us Sunday morning, 9 o'clock and 1030 at our Gaylor campus, at our Sault Ste. Marie campus, or church online. I also hope you'll share this video on your Facebook page, right now. Let's go into the weekend with a word of prayer. So Father, I thank you that the word of God contains everything you want us to know to do everything you want us to do. I thank you that it's inspired. I thank you that it's profitable. I thank you that it's unique. I thank you that it's sufficient. May we want to learn it more and more in Jesus name. Amen. Well, have a great weekend. We'll see you Sunday morning and then again right back here Monday for another morning check-in.